for this. Okay, share, share, here we go. Okay, so what you wanna do is draw a right triangle like that. And you want, we'll call this a, um, I don't know, X. So sine 35 degrees equals X or 2.5. And I foolishly left my graphic calculator inside the house. That's okay. Nope, don't want that. Okay, so sin uh, 35, come on, 35, times 2.5, so you get 1.43. No, that made no sense. Uh, it's 2.5 over x, wow. I teach math, okay. <laughs> 2.5 over x, there you go. So you actually have to do x equals uh, 2.5 over sine 35. So let's backtrack a little bit here. 2.5 divided by sin of 35. So 4.36. Um, anyway, so now remember, initial kinetic energy plus initial conservative energy uh, plus your non-conservative work equals final potential energy. Sorry, final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. Right? Initially, uh, we have twelve meters per second. So we're going to do one half. Um, times m times 12 squared. The potential energy is zero. Now this is gonna be my force due to connect friction times my distance, which I got is 4.36 equals my final kinetic energy, which is gonna be one half um, my mass and my v squared. I'm gonna solve for v eventually. I already know mass is 60 plus mgh. Okay. Now the kinetic force is gonna be this mu k times fn, we know this. And the fn is gonna be a little bit interesting. Um, the skewers right here, the drums a box, there's fn. Remember that's gonna counteract, that, that's weight due to friction, that's mg. It's gonna counteract with your perpendicular weight. So we need to figure that out. Um, so you can say that you can use times your perpendicular weight. And your perpendicular weight is gonna be your actual weight, which is of course mg, times the uh, cosine 35 degrees. Because uh, the per perpendicular weight is actually adjacent to that angle. So this is also a great final exam question. It does involve some stuff from week two as well. I really like this question a lot as well. Um, so yeah, and my mu k is 0.8. Yes, no, 0.08, wow, okay. 0.08 times 60 times 9.8 times cosine 35. So this is a doozy. Cos 35 should get 0.819. Multiply that to 0.08. Oh, hold on, fix that in parentheses, times 0 0.08, times 60, times 9.8. So you get 38.53. Yeah, so that's going to force you to connect friction. So I, I know I'm kind of squeezing all this in, but one half times 60 times 144 plus 38.53 times 4.36 equals one half times 60 times p squared plus 60 times 9.8. Your height, of course, is 2.5. Uh, if you move everything all to one side and keep uh, v squared on the other side, you should have 30 v squared 
on the right side. We have all the other junk. So times 4.36 uh, plus 30 times 144. Well, doesn't that doesn't make any sense? Plus 30 times 144. Let's put that in parentheses, actually. Okay. And then minus uh, parentheses 60 times 9.8 times 2.5. So you get about 3,018. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Um, actually, I think I'm going to be a tad off. Maybe a mistake somewhere in my calculations. Uh, 30, 144. Yeah, I must have made a mistake. I'm not percent sure where I made my error, but I'll, I'll just keep um, rolling with this. Um, of course, divide up by 30. And then square root. Um, yeah, so I get about like 10 point something. So I'm head off. Um, I'm not sure where I went wrong. So Mr. I'll okay. hey, go ahead. Um, could you explain why you multiplied uh, the 38.5 and the 4.36? That's a distance. That's four times distance. Oh, okay. That's your, that's your, not your non conservative work. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because you force the kinetic friction, which I may have made a mistake there. I got to double check my math there, but I'm pretty sure I did that correctly. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, I think I did that fine because it's, it's friction that's, you know, that's working against you. Um, yeah, maybe I have to, you know what? I, actually, I think the more I, um, I just realized, I think there's also um, the parallel weight I have to take in consideration as well. I think I dropped the ball there on that one because I do, yeah, I think I have to do this also. W parallel is going to be mg times sine theta. So that's going to be 60 times 9.8. So I think that's another. Um, um, work I have to consider. Um, let me just think here. Or maybe I had to make that negative. Because actually, you know, it's working against you. I think I probably had to make that negative. I think that's why I'm off a little bit. Never mind. Um, so let me double, let me make that a negative with the um, non conserve work. So let me do this one more time. I got this here. So see, we got 30 times 144. Uh, minus 38.53 times 4.36. Then minus parentheses 60 times 9.8 times 2.5. Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're fine now because I, now I get 2,682. Divide that by 30, I get 89.4. And then let me square root that. Yep, I get, I get 9.46. Yeah, the mistake I made. Yeah, this was a doozy. I would break, break some of the parts just so you know. I would say to do this, do this. Um, but yeah, that should have been minus because friction is working against you. It's not working with you. Um, so that was a mistake. Um, I made in that regard uh, because the, the other problems we did, again, I'll make sure you guys have this recording. Um, the rocket engine was helping you here. Um, here that was negative actually, because I think we did put a minus sign. 
or actually no, it didn't matter because you moved it around. Um, yeah, so that, that was just a mistake I made there. So cool. Okay, so uh, homework for tonight um, is right here. So there'll be three videos to watch on momentum. Actually, four videos. My bad. Uh, they're about like eight to ten minutes each, roughly. Um, there's a Google form for the answer as well. And let me make sure it works. I know it didn't work yesterday for a little while. Okay, it looks like it works. That's great. Um, do you make your initial post of the weekly discussion? Uh, so that's already up there. And if you have a problem sets to turn from last week, last from last week, you want to do any test corrections uh, for test number two. And if you still haven't done test correct test number one, I'll still accept it. So just get it all in. All the links are there. You can just, just click on those things and just submit. Um, or email them to me too if you have a hard time submitting that in Schoology. And then tomorrow, um, we'll do an extension of the lab we did today. Uh, so there'll be some questions I want you to do. We'll talk about momentum for sure. Um, I think that's important. I don't think we'll do another lab this week because I think that's a little much. I think we'll say the, the momentum lab for next week. That'll kind of reinforce and be cumulative in some ways. Um, and momentum will take probably a couple days. And then of course, we'll have a test on Friday again. So yeah, we're just trucking along here. Um, so that pretty much covers it. We saw